Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel as a green arts and craft. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make this feeder bottle cover. It's really easy to make and it's really simple and it looks so amazing. I uh, made previously a basic crochet um, feeder bottle cover which was in Urdu version and I made this one for you guys in English version. It's really easy and quick to make. Uh, it's depend on your bottle size and how long is your bottle is. So you can go and make it longer one. It's depend on how long you are carrying your uh, milk bottle, okay? So there you can see uh, this is kind of a net stitch I do with this um, on this bottle. And the base is just a basic stitches, okay? So this basic is how uh, you can make as many round as you want your base bigger okay because if you are making with a wide more wider bottle all you need is a nice wider um down section okay and then you can go on and on in these rounds okay so don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel hit the like button and let's get started with this amazing amazing bottle cover if this is really easy to make if you don't know any of the basic crochet stitches kindly go to my basic crochet stitches video first so for this video tutorial i'm using size four millimeter crochet hook okay so for round one, you have to make a magic circle, chain three, and do 15 double crochet into the circle. For round two, join at the top of your third chain at the beginning, and then do a slip stitch. And this is round one is completed. For the total, you should have 16 stitches. Now for round two, chain one, two, and three. And now we have to work one double crochet into the very same stitch where we did a slip stitch. Into the next stitch, you have to do one double crochet. And into the next stitch, you have to work two double crochet. One and two. So you have to do one, two, one, two all the way around. Like one in the next and two in the next you have to do all this all the way around until you get to the beginning part so here i am completed around two and we have 23 stitches now we make it 24 so into the very first slip stitch we made it we have to make one double crochet into this and then we have to join to the third chain of the beginning and now you should have 24 stitches in total in this round. I have to give a slip stitch. And now I'm going to put my bottle at the top. And then you can see it's perfect in size. Because if we make more bigger, it will get looser. Okay? So if your bottle is more wider, you can go on and increase a, one more round or two more rounds depend on your bottle size. So for round three onwards, we have to chain two, we're going to work into this chain three, work front post double crochet, insert your hook from this and do one double crochet front post, okay? And this is what you have to do till you reach to the height of your bottle, okay? Chain one. Wrap the yarn over, skip one and two, and into the third, do one double crochet, two double crochet, <coughs> excuse me, and then chain one and two double crochet into the same stitch. Chain one. Now we have to skip two, one, which is going to be into the corner, so you make sure you get that stitch, one, two, and into the third one, we have to do front post double crochet. So now we are going to do is front post double crochet, pull through two, pull through two, chain one, and skip two, one, 
and two and into the third one we have to do again the shell stitch which is two double crochet chain two two double crochet into the same space so we did two double crochet chain one sorry chain one two double crochet chain one so this is how you complete your shell stitch and chain one again and skip two stitches and into the third do front post double crochet and this is what you have to do all the around like skipping two and then front post and shell, sti then shell um, stitch this is what you have to do around chain one and again skip two and work shell which is two double crochet chain one two double crochet all the way around so I am done with this round and as you can see that you, uh, at the end you should get a shell stitch okay so now we will join with a slip stitch to the top of your front post and this is a round third is completed so now this is what you have to repeat until you want your length of your bottle to be so chain one and we did I did a front post at the front post chain one and into this chain one space of your previous shell you have to do two double crochet chain one two double crochet into the same space so two double crochet chain one and two double crochet into the same space chain one and do a front post at the front post the previous front post this uh, basically this is really easy project and chain one again and back to the shell so into the chain one space work two double crochet chain one two double crochet and this is what you have to do in rounds and rounds and rounds and rounds as long as you want your a bottle cover to be chain one and two double crochets into the same space don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel guys and if you liked it don't forget to hit the like button chain one and yarn over and into the previous front post do one more front post double crochet chain one and the shell chain one into the chain one space you have to do two double crochet chain one two double crochet I'm repeating this again and again as you can see that the wool is quite a little bit thicker at this side but for the sake of the video I'm just doing this right now and into the previous front post you have to do front post chain one and the shell again and then I'm back to my beginning round so I'm gonna complete my a bottle cover as many rounds as I wanted to and then I'm gonna teach you what you have to do next look at that it is so amazing this is how your bottle cover will go on so I'm gonna complete some of the rows to rounds to get the perfect length for my bottle and then I'm gonna teach you how we are gonna just uh, sew the, that uh, chain stitch inside to tighten this top of this feeder bottle cover so you have to complete this round into the same manner into the shell uh, double crochet two times then chain and double crochet two times into the same space and as you can see I'm back to the beginning so let me complete my two double crochets and then chain one and then we will join to the our very first top of the front post double crochet and now you have to do this around again chain one and front post double crochet into the front post double crochet chain one and shell in the chain one space of the shell I'm gonna complete my <coughs> cover and meet you guys in a moment 
Alright, so here you can see that I have completed this in uh, round one, two, after two rounds I got one, two, th one, two, three, four, five rounds because the bottle is quite smaller. So I did five rounds and as you can see that it's not to the top because now we will do the chain and fix the chain into this and make a knot so it will get fit because as you can see the babies do uh, snatch things and they can um, all they can do is just rip it off all right so <clears throat> I forgot to tell you how we're gonna join so as you will f uh, finish your last round just give a basic slip stitch at the top of your uh, first front post half double crochet, double crochet, then chain one. You're gonna pull your yarn, cut the strand, pull it through, and this is how your bottle cover will look like. All right, so I made a chain of uh, 100. You can go for the um, lower if you wanted to, and the chain is really basic. If you don't know, kindly uh, learn the basics of the chain, please. So, <clears throat> you can start at any point you want it to. So, I'm going to start in with this side here of our... So, I'm going to pull this out from one side. I want it from the back of the shell. So we will get the chain from back of the shells over to the double crochet post stitch. And this is really easy to weave in. So getting it back again and then pulling it out back from the other side over to the post stitch and back from the shell stitch and this is how you have to just weave in the crochet chain sorry, uh, so, uh, yeah, the crochet chain <laughs> sometimes I do get confused about the stitches on the chains so this is how you're gonna weave in and then you have to make sure that two ends meet properly and now we will put the bottle in now we are gonna tie this so we're gonna make sure that you tie this nice and evenly oops if you wanted to you can get it at the front of the bottle or if you wanted to it will good look good nice look good nice oh my god look will look nice at the side of the bottle okay so this is how you're going to chain this, make a firm bow of your chain like that. And now, if you wanted to leave the longer tails, you can. But I'm going to just snap this off because those looks really bad. So this is how I make a chain. If you wanted to, you can put the pearls at the end. It will look nice. It's totally depend on you. It's just an optional. So I hope you will have enjoyed today's video tutorial. It's really easy and simple to make a feeder bottle cover. If you make one of these, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, don't forget to share it on my Facebook page. Thank you so much for your precious time you give to my video. Take care. Bye bye.